Trader. Tina here from shortmetina.com with my daily recap. Uh, so we're doing things a little bit differently because I won't be able to record the video after market close because I'm going to be uh, traveling for the weekend. So I said I will do uh, the typical daily recap before market closes. So the market's about to close in the next uh, three and a half hours, give or take. Uh, so today marked the fifth straight day of selling uh, in the S&P 500, the SPY, unless again we decide to rebound uh, towards the ending of the day. It's not look, it doesn't look like it's gonna shape up to be that way. Uh, so to put that in perspective, since bottoming out back in de December, we've had overall, we can say 10 meaningful weeks uh, of gains within the SPY. So this week is our first major real pullback since the uptrend started back in December. Uh, so for me, that's okay, right? Stocks, ETFs, the market, they do not go up in a straight line. You're gonna have your pullbacks. You don't want it to go up in a straight line because then it's not really sustainable. And then if it falls, the fall is pretty hard. So you want your corrections here. I'm not sure how it's going to end, but for the day at least, uh, but pay attention to 272.42. If we close, close to that expect the selling to continue into monday and it might accelerate so definitely pay attention to today's close right now we're sitting at 272.93 again the low is 272.42 if we close around that low or close uh close to the low of the day again the selling more than likely will continue um into the, the following week now there's a full full possibility we can correct to around 260 and for me the chart will still be intact because it's still respecting its trend right or its chant not its trend rather it's still respecting its channel it's been trading within a channel and i don't want to get too much into to it i've discussed this in numerous videos just kind of like peruse browse or shoot me an e email tina com, and i'll you know i'll kind of send you a chart with annotations if i have the time but we've been in a channel more or less uh dating back to 2017 so a two-year channel it's respected its channel with the exception of two occasion i'm not going to count here so let's count this anomaly here back in september of 2018 where we overshot resistance and then we can uh discuss here or we consider this that we can consider this the second anomaly when we broke support uh back in you can say november december right so uh the channel has been intact with the exception of this anomaly and this anomaly and right now we're expecting uh, the the spies respecting its channel it's respecting resistance because when we got there, right, we went as high as 281, 87 a few days ago, and we pulled back. So remember, resistance comes in at around uh, 280 to 282. So I've said a lot. Let me sum it up. Uh, so we're sitting here at 272.94. We've been in about 10 straight weeks of uh, of gains, which is great. This week marks the first week. Uh, of the spy pulling back since the December bottom. That's good in my opinion. You want it to pull back, consolidate, then continue up. If we consolidate around here, then the next attempt at breaching resistance, and we've done it one, two, three, four to no avail. If we can consolidate, I'm pretty sure the next attempt will be the successful one, and then we'll go on to do great things. I want the bull market to continue, I really do. Uh, so pay attention to today's low. As of this recording, it's at 272.42. Pay attention to the close. If we close anywhere close to the low of the day, expect the, sell the selling to uh, continue into next week and it, it can possibly accelerate. So plan and trade accordingly. What else do we have? And we have the IWM daily chart. Before we get into that, where are my manners, right? Where are my manners? So if, if you're a new trader and this is your first time on my channel, I usually welcome you uh, at the beginning of uh, the video today. You know, a lot of running around. I got to do a lot of ripping and running. So didn't happen today, but I do want to acknowledge you if you're a new trader here. Thank you for listening. Welcome to our channel. Um, just peruse, listen to my videos. Head on over to my website, shawmitina.com, and you'll get a sense of what I am about. If you are a returning trader and you're a returning viewer and you tune in every day or just about every other day, I want to really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for the continued support. It is because of you that I continue to do this this because well if no one listened then what's the point right so even if just one person listened to me like if i only had one viewer i would still do this because i am you know transferring and i i believe in sharing knowledge i will be transferring what i've learned trading the markets for over 15 years actually it's closer to two decades so it's a long time and you know i wasn't just 
the type of uh, trader or investor just kind of, you know, passively do something here, passively do something there. I've been tuned into the markets for about 16, 17 years. Don't ask me why. I just have a love for this. Like I walked away uh, from a, 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 very, a very vastly different career in my former life. I was a therapist. So I walked away from, from that field to do this. So this means a lot to me. Anyway, so if you're high, say hello. I say hi back. If you're returning, still say hello. I, you know, there's a couple of folks that you know who you are. You're, you're continuously posting and commenting and I love it. I will always respond. Uh, I care. If no one else care, sure, I'm parsing. Tina cares. All right. So to continue, uh, the IWM uh, daily chart dating back to December of 2017, we have something similar going on. Uh, fifth straight day of decline mark selling. This looks like it might be shaping out to be a doji. Uh, if you know anything about candlestick charting, you know that when you see a gravestone doji, again, expect further selling like I indicated uh, with the S&P 500. Right now we're sitting at 151.03. Today's low was 150.61. For the next two or three hours, pay attention to the close. If we close, if, if the close today is closer to today's high, okay, breathe a sigh of relief, right? If we close closer to the day, to, to today, uh, two, two, <laughs> Why is it hard for this to come out? All right, let me try. It's kind of a tongue twister. If we close close to today's low, then watch out again. The selling might accelerate or continue into the following week. Um, similar, except I think the IWM actually put up a little bit more in terms of gain, gains from the December low. The SPY was maybe north of 20%, where I think the IWM from the December lows to its peak here of around 159.50. Uh, if you do the math, I think it might have been over 20%. So a huge move in a relatively short period of time, right? We bottomed out in December. We were pushing these highs in February, only two months to gain over 20% in the market. Huge move. So again, expect this pullback. I'm not bothered by it at all. In fact, I welcome it because it, for me, it increases the likelihood of the rally continuing if we pull back and consolidate. And so if we, again, if we breach today's low, there's more selling into Monday and it can't seem to let up, then expect the IWM to revisit 145. If it can hold above those levels, eh, I'm okay. If it breaks, the story is not over, but it gets a little bit scary. And obviously we're not there yet, but we want to pay attention to December lows if we kind of break that. So I just painted many scenarios and this is how I trade. It's like, okay, if it does this, then that. If it does this, then that. So I've highlighted, I didn't count, but I've highlighted several possibilities, right? And with those possibilities, I'm all the while sort of like calculating, not calculating, I already know what I'm gonna do. But first scenario is we're gonna pay attention to, I'm recapping here. First scenario is we're paying attention to today's low, right? If we close close to there, expect more selling. If we sell more going into next week, chances are we're gonna revisit the support line of 145. The story is not over, but if we break support of 145, things get a little bit rocky, right? And then if we break December lows, then that's it, goodbye market. I don't know what's gonna happen, you know, short. Um, so that's that, that's what I'm paying attention to. What else do we have? All right, we have a uh, ticker BPTH, and I'm gonna accelerate it a little bit. Uh, more, more than likely, the other stocks that I'm gonna discuss going forward, I've already talked about for the week. So if you don't get the full picture in this video, just listen to the last four or five days of videos, and chances are it'll give you a little bit more color. Uh, and again, if there's anything you don't understand, make sure you comment in the comment section and either myself will respond or someone within the community will respond to you. So BPTH uh, highlighted a few days ago as a stock that can run. It put up about 700% in gains. It makes sense with why, this, why the stock would correct. It's down about 36%. But relative to the gains that it put up, uh, yesterday, like six, seven hundred percent, thirty-six percent is not huge in the grand scheme of things. Uh, yesterday, I indicated that a good area to long would be a bounce off a of support of around mid twenties. That happened today. We fell to around, I think, twenty-four, twenty-five. You had that pop to around twenty-nine, thirty, uh, about six points, and now we're correcting again. So you see how it's hanging out. Uh, around that 25 mark because that's uh, indicative of support in my opinion. So you gotta pay attention to that, right? It's not looking good right now, but you know, look at volume. It doesn't seem like too many folks are unloading. So it seems at least at this point, 
the stock is still being held up, but pay attention to today's low of 24. If we breach that, then things might potentially spiral. But based on volume, it looks like whoever's holding it up remains in the trade or they're, you know, they're letting it go in, um, in increments. What else do we have? All right, so CIFS down about 25%. Um, so I did a video yesterday. I said, well, look, pay attention. It's still in play uh, because it was hanging out in the fours. Uh, we're sitting here at 336, down about 25%. So obviously it's not looking good, but I still can't help but pay attention to volume. Unless who's ever unloading is unloading it in... Um uh, just being very cautious so they don't depress the the stock price too quickly. I don't see massive unloading here, so I'm still gonna say keep ticker CIFS on your radar. It's my dog. But here's the thing. So with I study two charts. Study study ticker BPTH and study ticker CIFS, right? Because if you understand these two, you had one that put up 700% in gains, another one that put up about. Actually, they both have put up probably over four to five hundred percent within the span of a week, right? So these are the charts you want to study because when you see it again, you'll know what to look for. Hence, why I knew CFIS. We got into it. I knew it was going to give me a hundred percent in a short period of time. I knew ticker BPTH was going to run because of that. What else do we have? And then we have Cron. I, I, I've done extensive videos on Cron. Down two percent. Uh, I like Cron, I like a couple of other stocks in the marijuana space in the intermediate to longer term. I think there's gains to be had. Expect extreme volatility within the shorter term. Uh, so right now, again, dating back to uh, late January, so we have about, let's say six weeks. Six weeks where the stock is traded above that $18 level. So for me, as long as it can stay above there, Things are okay, right? Things are even if it breaks there, I still think I still think things are okay. But obviously, it depends on if you, when when you actually entered the trade. If you got into it at the height here at 25, then you definitely need to head on over to shortmetina.com. But because you should not be buying stocks when it's trading at the high, right? That's not what we do, or that's not what you shouldn't do anyway. So for me, still like the story. There's a lot going on, but for now. What I'm paying attention to is 18. If it breaks that, then I'll reanalyze the chart. But for now, as long as it can stay above this, it can still have a really good shot at hitting 25, retesting those previous highs of 25.10, potentially taking it out and going to 30. I think we're going to see 30 with Cron in 2019. Um, Timestamp this. I, I think it's a real possibility. What else do we have? Uh, we have Weight Watchers hanging out here at around $19.30. Uh, so for me, bearish on Weight Watchers in the shorter term, the stock or the dust needs to settle. It's down. Uh, uh, I, I didn't do the percentage points, but you know, if it was trading at a high of 100, let's say about a year ago, and it's sitting at $19.30, it's lost definitely over 70% of shareholder value. Um, so that's definitely not good. But but you know, sometimes this is where you can make those really solid gains getting into a stock when it's really depressed and it's left for dead. Uh, but unless you really know how to do that, I'd stay away from that. And I'd also stay away from Weight Watchers. Pay attention to the most recent lows of 1880. If it takes that out, things can spiral. What else? And then we have ticker TROV. Uh, as of this video, it's up about 73% on the day. Huge move, uh, another runner, right? So obviously I'm gonna pay attention to this, mainly the high and how it closes. And that should sort of give me a sense of what might happen pre-market. I already don't like what's going on here with the volume, right? Despite it being up, you see that they're still unloading here if you look at the volume. So right now we're sitting at 716. Any stock that can put up 70% in a day can do it the following day or can potentially put up more. So put a good TROV on your watch list. Pay attention to the high. Uh, if it can break 965.20 is a real possibility. What else do we have? And let's round it out with ticker FIZZ off about 16% on the day we're sitting here 5698 double top uh, bearish chart pattern today's low came in at around 5053 had a bit of a push up we might fill this gap here of 6568 but for me overall I would still expect more downside you might have that dead cap bounce uh, on Monday or Tuesday or for the next two days meaning you'll probably get another uh, push an extra five or ten percentage point on the stock but I think the overall trend uh, that started back in September will continue and that trend is uh, you know, uh, more move to the downside. So that's kind of it. I'm going to cap it there. Tina from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed, 
any video, any any portion of this video, I want you to do three things for me. One, comment. If you're new, let me know that you're new. Say hi. If you're returning, let me know you're returning. If you do not understand or if you had issues picking up on what I'm talking about, comment in the comment section. I'll be able to clear that up. That's the first thing. Second thing is um, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I do videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, typically after market hour is after market closes. Uh, and if you turn on notification, it ensures that you will not miss any of the videos that I upload, right? None, 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 none at all. And the last thing is if you want more value, if you want to hear more about the market, again, I've been trading for over 15 years, north of two decades, head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, sorry for the speed, but thank you for the support. Out of the way, the bullets rip. of the beat. Another one bites the dust Another one bites the dust And another one gone And another one gone Another one bites the dust Hey, hey we're gonna get you too Another one bites the dust yeah.